night. A ton of breakups, a couple of exits, lots of tears. Everyone is wondering what is gonna happen during this rose ceremony. Tonight, the biggest question mark is Mercedes and Jess. Nobody has any idea where those roses are gonna go. I've definitely had a little bit of a rough go here in paradise, but I'm a hopeless romantic. I want to find romance, and I am happy I had the conversation with Jess. You know, I'm hopeful that she wants to give me a rose and see where this goes. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to your fourth rose ceremony. It's been quite the night. Ladies, you'll be handing out the roses tonight. You all have a very, very important decision in front of you because the one man who does not receive a rose tonight will be asked to leave paradise immediately. I wish you all luck. Let's begin. Eliza. feels really good. That means that she can see me outside of this. She is as sure as I am about our relationship. John Henry. We accept this rose. Absolutely. This is the happiest I've been in paradise. Here today, right now, I have been through the ringer. And now I am finally getting pieces of my soul back. Hey, Ben, will you accept this? Of course I do. I could see myself spending the rest of my life with this man, and I foresee him getting down on one knee. So, Michael, will you accept this service? I'm in a good place with Michael, and it feels really good to be like one of the strong couples in paradise right now. Peter, will you accept this road? Hello. Because it doesn't always work out, it doesn't always end happily. I know Jess has been put through the ringer tonight. Jess. You said Tanner. I'm sorry. Oh, it's not so, that's so bad. I'm so sorry. Tanner, today was really hard for me, and you have shown nothing but kindness. We accept this rose. I wish I had a connection I felt more comfortable with, but I'm hoping for a chance to stay here. And honestly, I hope, you know, maybe Mercedes or Rachel, you know, find something in me that would warrant them giving me a rose. feel very comfortable and vulnerable, and I really appreciate that. So I'm excited to see where this week goes. They accept this rest? Absolutely. Gentlemen, it's the final roast tonight. Rachel.
Hey. Hi. Is everything okay? <sighs> Talk to me. What's going on? I think... I think I might... I need to go. Rach, are you sure you want to do this? When I came, like, down those steps, I told myself if there was a point where I knew I needed to go, I would go. And it's gonna be so hard, but I think I know that this is that moment. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I, come here. Come here. I'm so sorry. I really came in to bear this with, like, no expectations. And I, like, made mistakes, but I learned so much, like, more about myself than I could have ever, like, expected. I just want to say goodbye. <laughs> Even if I'm not, like, leaving with anyone, for me, like, paradise has been just, like, being able to, like, stand on my own two feet for the first time. <laughs> because Rachel is left, her rose is therefore forfeited, which unfortunately means Taylor and Brayden, I'm very sorry. Your time in paradise has come to an end. I feel like I was meant to be here in paradise, even though I don't... I have, like, a partner I'm walking away with. It's just been, like, the most amazing experience, and I'm just, like, happy. Later, y'all. Take care. See you, Brandon. But it's sad because it's ending. That's just it. I feel deflated. I'm not leaving the way I wanted to leave, which was, you know, someone's hand in mine. I feel like I shouldn't have gone on that date with Becca. I had really good vibes with Rachel, but I messed up the potential for a relationship with her. I burned a bridge with somebody that was an amazing woman, and it's a tough lesson to learn. It's a hard pill to swallow, but I have to learn from it. I gotta do better. I gotta be better.